Hey guys, so this video is going to be about skills, specifically logistics skills. I'm not going to go into a whole lot of detail about that because I, I almost want to make an entirely different video for the specific things. For instance, I want to go into uh, each, like the medium drop suits and logistics drop suits. And then like skills for weapons and skills for, for instance, every time that I make a video about say like a specific weapon or uh, equipment or something, I'll talk more about the, the skill related to it. Uh, this is more about just uh, skills that I have found are really useful for logistics. Now most of these are in drop suit upgrades. So the first thing obviously you need is drop suit upgrades to like level two or something to be able to or maybe it's one to access core upgrades then from core upgrades you can access all of these uh, and these are pretty much your skills as logistics i almost have all of them at five except for hacking and up or and scanners uh, as how, a couple of these i didn't actually want to get to level five but they're just there because i made mistakes back when i was more of a noob but anyways uh, so the first thing that you want to focus on is your electronics and engineering. Now these skills are really uh, expensive to get into. They're like 800,000 isk a piece for the skill book. And then it's another, what I think these are, yeah, times five. So I've put, let's see here, it doesn't say. Um, I've put a lot of, of skills into, skill points into just these two there. Uh, then the next things that you want to work on are your nano circuitry, drop up link, and repair tool, or which, you know, and then active scanner, whichever ones that you want to get into, um, get them to level three, because that only costs a cert, it only costs like 200,000 SP, and you can start using advanced versions of those equipment. Uh, the other thing is that with nano circuitry, it doesn't actually say here, but let me see if I can actually go find it in the market. Um, in the skill book I've heard it says that it gives you 5% CPU reduction and I've actually tested this and there's another video that I made on this uh, somewhere on my channel but let me go into skills go into where is it? Drops to upgrades and Nanocircuitry, 5% reduction to CPU usage of nanocircuitry modules per level. So this is something that isn't in the description, and I'll go back and show you that again, just because you're like, no, it did say that. No, it, it didn't. Uh, nanocircuitry. Nothing. It doesn't say it anywhere, but it does give you 5% reduction in CPU, which is super important because some of the up, or some of the injectors and uh, what, nano hives are really CPU intensive. So, well, I mean, by the time that you can use them, you'll get the bonus. But it's just it's another reason why you want to skill into nano circuitry um, before even repair tool or drop up link or whatever. Uh, another thing is that drop up link. I think it's like level two or three or I don't remember. But um, you can get access to stable uplinks, and I'll talk about that in. The uplink video but let's go over another few things so shield upgrades armor upgrades depending on the type of suit that you go into you obviously want to pick one of these uh, the general rule for logistics though is that you want to go armor heavy because most logistics suits have more low slots than high slots uh, the Kaldari logistics does have like five high slots so it makes sense to go shields for those but for the Minotaur, Amar, and Galente, they all have a lot of high slots. And not only that, but they have, they generally have more armor than shield. So with shields, up, um, you don't get as much HP either. And with as a Logi, you automatically get that um, the HP bonus. For instance, let's just go in here and show you. So per level, I get plus one HP to drop to armor repair rate per level. So I'm, I automatically have five HP per level for logistic suits. 
with level 5 anyways, and that costs a lot, but anyways, uh, let's see here, the, the other thing is that with these skills, I only have them level 4, because with logistics, you don't really get that much bonus, it only applies to the, uh, the basic stats, so let me just go in here and create, well, let's get here, this is perfect, so right here, uh, if you look at the fitting, it only has 108 shield, um, the standard think is 90 HP so with level 4 it only gave me 108 no it only gave me what's that 18 yeah 18 shield I think at level 5 it might give me uh, I don't I don't know I'm not gonna do the math but the the point is that those skills don't give you a lot um, unless you're like a heavy or another suit with a lot of base HP because that's what those skills are mainly for the I mean it's perfectly fine to literally go your entire logistics career, if you just do logistics, to have these both at level one, because I don't even think that you need any higher level, th maybe you need like level three or something to get to these, but uh, both of these require level one, I think. I, I could be wrong, but it's, it's really just something that you don't need to skill into. Uh, armor plating, important. You don't need to max it out to complex because you're probably not going to be fitting complex m plates on there. At least get it to level 1 so you can use the basic versions of the plate instead of militia. Uh, armor repair. This should be at level 5 if you uh, are going to go logistics in the long run. Specifically because the complex armor repair is so much better than the advanced one. You, it just, Especially with the bonus that this gets, it's what 5% per level. So that's 25%. Get, it turns a complex one, which is 5 to 6.25 repair which is really nice then and shields shield extension is another one that you should get to five specifically because let me just go in to my fitting again we already saw that you start out with 108 shield but if you if you just put two complex shield extenders like I have over here here let me yeah, I have over here um, 253. Uh, it might be a little bit less if you don't have your shield upgrades level higher, but literally uh, 250 is a lot more than 100, especially um, when we're talking about Minotaur logistics, because you need that extra shield buff if you're going to go armor. Uh, the other thing I was talking about is that remember how you get that skill, and you get that that basic armor repair per level for using logistic suits. Um, I already have it at 5, which is basically a complex repair on your suit all the time. So for, the, for this suit, I just have two plates there instead of putting another uh, complex repair on there, and it saves me a lot of PG CPU, and I have just a good general amount of repair rate. But again, that costs a ton of skill points, and it's not something that you want to do until later on in the game. So the last thing I want to get into is, let's see here, weaponry. So as a Logi, I would highly recommend skilling into one of your weapons at least to proficiency three. Now I know that my that that's a million skill points right there, but it's a million skill points that you will you will absolutely love. The fact that you did that for for instance i went all the way to level four you don't have to do that because level four is another three or four hundred thousand sp which it but love uh levels one and two i think or maybe yeah no proficiency two i don't remember anyways the the fact is you, as a logistics you only have a light weapon you don't have sidearms so you have to focus mainly on your light weapon in order to be able to kill things. If you are more of a support logi, then this really is an important thing. But getting it to, uh, getting your operation at least to advanced level, so level three, for instance, I have assault rifle level four. Um, it's good enough. It, it, I mean, it, as long as you can use an advanced weapon, or you can use a basic weapon with proficiency level two or three, uh, you will do significantly, uh, significantly, a, a, you know, bunch more damage in combat than not having any of these skills, and it will help your team a lot.
So if I was to recommend any weapons, mass driver, scramble rifle, scramble scrambler rifle, shotgun. Um, I don't have any skill points into this because I just use a basic shotgun. But it, um, if you if you like the shotgun, go into it, especially because it is an effective tool as the logistics. You just have to be a little bit more careful uh, because you're going to be dying a lot more since you're getting closer. And what was the other one? Um, oh right, well you could always do assault rifle too. So those are the weapons I would recommend. I already kind of went through the rest of the skills in there. There's nothing special about drop suit command, but just remember that in order to get into these you only need this at level 3. I wouldn't go into it any higher unless you really like the basic suits. For instance, the prototype Amar basic suit is actually pretty nice, but that's that's heavy stuff. So other than that, I think that pretty much covers it in terms of skills. Let me just see if I'm forgetting anything. Oh, biotic upgrades. So this is um, this is probably a late, like after you've gotten most of your your skills. For instance, drop suit electronics and engineering and system hacking. I forgot on that one too. Um, get these to level three first. Don't go past that because getting the amount of SP that it costs to get them to level four and five is not worth the the bonus that it gives you until later on in the game when you don't have anything else to spend your skill points on. So for instance, getting your drop up link or repair tool operation to level three instead of um, instead of nano circuit no instead of engineering level four it is a much better choice, especially nano circuitry or something like that. Uh, biotic upgrades is another good one. Something you don't have to max, like I still haven't maxed it either. Uh, unless you want to get into connect catalyzation, which for minotaur suits I should have that, but I I don't know it. It's mostly useful if you like going faster. I really don't have a problem with my sprint speed as the the upgrades here will increase your sprint speed and movement speed by 1%. No, no no movement speed. I'm mad. Uh, but stamina and stamina recovery is always a good thing. So getting that to at least 2 or 3 is a good thing too. Um, other than that, drop suit core upgrades gives you 1% PG and CPU per level. Uh, at a certain point, you, the engineering skill will actually cost more than the amount of percentage that it gives you. So it gives you like say 5% per level. This one will give you 1% per level for 5 times less. So it's pretty much the same amount of skill points per percentage of increase. So it, it just I, I just went back and forth. I basically went engineering and then core upgrades and then electronics and core upgrades and and did that in order to max these out. So lastly, don't get that to level five. If you do, you're an idiot. Okay, that should be it. All right. Um, thanks for watching you guys. I hope that you guys will enjoy the, the rest of these videos and I'll try and keep making them because this is pretty enjoying for me too. See ya.